tucked away in a sleepy corner of Knott's Berry Farm, behind the ghost town and away from the noise and chaos, sat the facade of a Native American longhouse. The attraction it housed was overlooked by many, but those who chose to venture inside were rewarded with a unique, magical, and unforgettable experience. This is the story of Mystery Lodge. Wandering past the longhouse, guests found themselves surrounded by natural beauty. The sounds of the rushing water from Thunder Falls helped drown out the noise of the theme park and created a sense of serenity which sets the stage for what they'd soon experience. Woven into the rockwork, the profile of a Native American chief watches knowingly and the Sasquatch hides unseen behind the falls. Stepping inside, guests find themselves transported in time and place to a quiet summer night in the Canadian village of Alert Bay on Vancouver Island. Then, a brief pre-show introduced guests to the history, culture and beliefs of the Indigenous people of British Columbia. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mystery Lodge. The presentation you're about to see was inspired by the Kapala speaking people of the Pacific Northwest Coast. We are deeply indebted to the Native cultural advisors of the Kapala speaking people of Alert Bay and the Missa Cultural Society for the guidance and the use of their culture. The storm is coming closer. Soon it will be time to go inside to seek shelter and warmth. The house before you is a big house built in the style of the Kwakwala speaking people of the Pacific Northwest. Their cultural traditions are still very much alive. Their pride in their roots is strong. As they sit around the fire, smoldering in the center of the room, guests encounter an elderly indigenous gentleman. Oh, it's you. I'm glad you are here. I need someone with me tonight, especially now. As the storyteller speaks, the real magic begins, and guests watch amaze as the smoke from the fire begins to come alive. Grandmother also told stories of my people and of heroes and spirits and magic and wonder. Stories of Komofei, king of the sea, who brings wealth to our people. And of Raven, the mischief maker, who is always playing tricks on you. And Thunderbird, bringer of lightning. The old man moves about the stage and seems to interact with the pictures that are formed. Raven! I should have known. It is not the owl. It is only you, Raven. Raven, the trickster. Raven, full of mischief. Even joking about life itself. Should Even transforming from a human into the form of a bird. To our children and to our grandchildren, life is still full of magic. When you share the magic with them, you remember too. And once again, you too can fly. <laughs> but the storyteller isn't done yet. He returns for a few final words before again seeming to fade away, leaving only his walking stick. So, what was that all about? A little smoke? A little magic? A little story about how Raven pretended to be an owl? Perhaps. Or perhaps this was all just a dream. <laughs> Who knows? Life is full of mystery. But this I know. If we will share the wisdom of the elders with the heart of a child, life will always be full of joy and love 
and wonder and magic. <laughs> and as the lights return, guests sit in disbelief, charmed by the stories that they've been told, in awe of the magic that they've witnessed, but knowing that they've seen something truly unforgettable. The Mystery Lodge opened in Knott's Berry Farm in 1994, but to understand its origins you have to take a step back almost a decade more to the 1986 World's Fair held in Vancouver, British Columbia. One of the pavilions at Expo 86 was to be presented by General Motors, who were known to sponsor some of the most innovative and popular World's Fair attractions. GM hired BRC Imagination Arts, founded by Bob Rogers, to create an attraction that fit the theme of the fair, World in Motion, World in Touch. Rogers was no stranger to the entertainment industry, having worked for Walt Disney Engineering, where he helped create attractions like Epcot's Impressions of France, which holds the Guinness record for the longest continuous daily showing of a film and has run for over 36 years. BRC developed three attractions for Expo 86, including Our British Columbia for the BC Pavilion, Rainbow War for the Canadian Pacific Pavilion. In time, there came a new idea, and the world would never be the same. And Spirit Lodge for General Motors. The gleaming futuristic design of the General Motors Pavilion contrasts sharply with the show inside, a dramatized West Coast Indian legend. Created in consultation with BC's Indigenous peoples, Spirit Lodge utilized Holovision technology to create an eight-minute spectacle which introduced visitors to the culture of the Indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest. Like its successor, Spirit Lodge featured a live actor interacting with shapes and images that magically appeared within clouds of smoke. In this early version, the storyteller recounts the legend of a magic canoe which is able to transform its size to seat an entire village, or shrink to comfortably fit a small child. All it required was a wish and a dip of the canoe paddle, and it would instantly take its occupant anywhere that he or she wished to go. Spirit Lodge ran between May 2nd and October 13th, 1986, and quickly became one of Expo 86's must-see attractions, with guests waiting up to three hours for the experience. And during its run, Spirit Lodge attracted the attention of many people within the entertainment industry, including Michael Eisner from the Walt Disney Company. When the fair ended, Eisner convinced Disney to purchase the rights to the attraction, and they worked to find a place for it in one of their parks. At one point, there were even plans to place the lodge in Tomorrowland. However, after being stuck in development for several years, the rights to the Spirit Lodge expired and reverted back to BRC. Sensing opportunity, Knott's Berry Farm quickly stepped in. The lodge was a natural fit with the other themed attractions at their park, such as the Calico Ghost Town, the Timber Mountain Log Ride, and the Bigfoot Rapids. And in 1994, Knott's Berry Farm's Mystery Lodge opened at a cost of $10 million, claiming to be the park's most technologically advanced project ever. This new version of the lodge retained the same setting and Holovision technology, however BRC realized that the story needed a makeover to better fit its new home. The transportation-themed legend of the Magic Canoe was reimagined with a focus on family and the connection between youth and elders, which was a perfect fit for the multi-generational families that visited the park. Part of what made Mystery Lodge so special was how it balanced a heartwarming story with awe-inspiring special effects. These ghostly images were created using a patented imaging system known as Holovision, which got its name because people that experienced the effect insisted that it must be a holographic image. But as Bob Rogers states, it's not a technology, it's an illusion. What Holovision is, is a serious advancement and perfection of Pepper's ghost. As you might know, Pepper's Ghost is an old magician's trick which uses light and reflection to make spectral images appear and disappear and even transform as if by magic. 
What the audience of Pepper's Ghosts don't know is that there's a glass wall at a 45 degree angle, which is used to reflect light from a second hidden room located off stage. By raising lights in the hidden room, the objects are reflected onto the glass and suddenly become apparent to the viewer. Legendary attraction designer Rolly Crump explains. The reason it's called Pepper's Ghost is in 1860, there was a gentleman by the Professor Pepper that did a onstage sword fight uh, with a ghost. It basically, it's reflection of glass. What you want to do is sit in your living room when you've got a fire going, or maybe even the lights over your table, and look out the window, and you will see your fire on your front lawn. And that's basically all it is. It's just a form of reflection. Pepper's Ghost is used in many other theme park attractions, the most famous of which is Disney's Haunted Mansion, which contains the world's largest example of a Pepper's Ghost illusion. But for Spirit Lodge and Mystery Lodge, Rogers enhanced the effect by reflecting images stored on a 70mm film from a projector placed above the audience. These images were projected onto a sheet of glass which separated the audience from the live actors and stage. This glass might have been visible to the audience, but for a smart bit of misdirection, the audience members were told that the glass was there to protect them from the smoke effects, hiding the truth that it was actually there to help create them. To house this configuration, the attraction requires a purpose-built building, almost five and a half stories tall, as seen in the height of the GM Pavilion at Expo 86. The patent for Holovision filed by Bob Rogers notes some key differences between it and a traditional Pepper's Ghost illusion. The increased angle of the glass allows for a smaller reflective surface than what was required for something like the Haunted Mansion, which helps reduce construction costs. This also helps eliminate restrictions in viewing depth. Where the Haunted Mansion configuration can only really accommodate a few rows of viewers, Holovision allows for more than 20 rows of audience members in a more traditionally configured theater. In addition to the images created by Holovision, the show also wows audiences with a couple of other astounding effects. In one of these, the storyteller is able to transform from a live actor into the image of a bird and takes flight around the stage. You too can fly. The method used here is likely a result of the interplay between the light of the projected images and the darkening of the stage area. As hinted at by Rogers, who says, That's the oldest thing in the world. A gypsy throws a handful of gunpowder into the fire and runs out the door while everyone is blinded. And while this effect is striking, it isn't quite as astonishing as the disappearance and drop of the walking stick in the show's finale. However, the real trick was how the Mystery Lodge used these effects to support the main story. BRC knew that if it was presented as a magic trick, Holovision would only amuse people for a few minutes. However, by using the effect to tell a story, they could create something timeless and full of heart. Because of this, they expected that the show would run at Knott's Berry Farm for as long as 8 to 10 years. But park officials were somewhat more skeptical since a typical live show only ran for two or three years tops. As a backup plan, they asked BRC to develop a concept for a country-western musical comedy show that they could swap in as a replacement show and would utilize the same show space and technology. However, the theme, story, and magical effects of the Mystery Lodge ended up resonating with guests, and the show went on to run for 25 years, becoming a beloved part of the Knott's experience. And the musical western comedy show was never produced. Sadly, the Mystery Lodge closed its doors in June 2021 and is listed on the Knott's website as under refurbishment. Rumor has it that a custom part for the projector had broken and it would likely cost too much to repair this aging attraction. And further speculation cited the potential repurposing of this space for use in the addition of a new Giga Coaster. Later in 2021, the space was used by the Not Scary Farm Halloween event for the Invitation to Terror attraction. Built as a spine-tingling digital illusion horror show, it utilized the theater's Holovision configuration, but replaced the 70mm film projector with a digital projection.
this presentation. Enjoy your stay in the future. Brought to you by Futuretronics. The future of Tronics. The contrast between the shows is apparent, and it highlights why the Mystery Lodge was so special. It tells a timeless story that appealed to park goers young and old, and never ceased to amaze new guests who just happened to stumble to this quiet corner of the park. Fortunately, those looking to experience Holovision have one more chance to do so by visiting the Ghosts of the Library attraction at the Lincoln Presidential Library in Illinois. Now, it's yours. As long as our story is told, our experience becomes your experience. Our courage becomes your courage. And the best part of us lives on in you. Almost two years after its final performance, Mystery Lodge remains silent, and as time passes it becomes less and less likely that the show will ever return. And so, just like the old storyteller himself, the Lodge seems destined to quietly fade from existence. Life will always be full of joy and love and wonder and magic. <laughs>